inside of the concentration camps, there are many different methods of execution which were used to condemn a prisoner. Many were exterminated through the hard work and labour they were forced to conduct, and many were also driven into the gas chambers, or were executed in front of large crowds of people at roll call. But the Nazis often utilised the environments around them to create a culture of fear and terror, and this was the case at Mauthausen concentration camp. Mauthausen was a site where over 190,000 people were imprisoned, during the almost seven years it was in operation in Upper Austria. It was a camp close to where Hitler grew up, and the SS forced inmates to work in the brutal and evil quarries there, which they were forced to quarry huge blocks of stone, which were then used in building projects around Germany. The conditions here were known to have been incredibly severe, and more than half of the inmates of Mauthausen would never make it out of the camp alive. But one aspect of the quarry which was shocking and brutal was the stairs of death, and this stone structure certainly lived up to its name. Join us today to look at the executions of Mauthausen's stairs of death, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Mauthausen as a camp was opened on the 9th of August 1938, when prisoners from Dachau, the first concentration camp, were sent there to construct a new slave labour camp. It was chosen as it was very close to a granite quarry, which was nearby, and also the transport links as it was close to Linz, Hitler's hometown. Before the Nazis created a camp there, the granite mined at the site was used to pave the streets of Vienna, but Hitler had huge visions for architectural projects, building a new Germany, and for these projects a huge amount of granite was required. This was obviously very expensive, and Hitler would rather have spent money on his army and preparing for war, rather than purchasing stone through fairly mined resources. So because of this, a prisoner of war camp was opened there, and a slave labour site where inmates were forced to conduct backbreaking work, mining the stone. Mauthausen itself was a huge complex, with many subcamps being found, including the Gusen camps, which held a significant amount of prisoners. In terms of production, Mauthausen was more productive than Auschwitz, and it was a camp that had the biggest output, but for this the SS guards would have to drive the inmates incredibly hard. There were other factories that were built around Mauthausen, and 45 companies would establish themselves there, utilising the slave labour. Some of these companies were also part of the war effort, but some were not. The camp was turning over in profit millions of Reichmarks each year, and inmates were even rented out to work on other sites, including local farms. As mentioned, the main point of the camp was to exterminate prisoners through labour, working them until they died and could not work anymore. It was one of the most severe camps, with inmates suffering from malnutrition and a huge amount of overcrowding. The living quarters were not sufficient, so disease also spread quickly around Mauthausen, and there were also daily beatings administered by the SS guards and also the Carpos. There was a medical facility established, known as the Krankenlager, but no medication was offered and only first aid was handed out. Experiments also occurred at Mauthausen, and the average life expectancy of a newly arrived prisoner was around six months from when they set foot in the camp, and this deteriorated to just three months by the end of the war. The situations of inmates got significantly worse, and food rations began to be decreased each month, leading to prisoners being unable to even stand up. Those who could not work were often sent to sites such as Hartheim Castle, where they were exterminated inside of gas chambers there. But the most striking element of Mauthausen was the stairs of death. This was a huge rock quarry which was found at the base of the stairs and the stairs were 186 large stone steps in which prisoners carrying as much as 50 kilograms were forced to walk up, one after another, up these huge steps. It was literally backbreaking work and SS guards would whip and beat prisoners forcing them up the stairs a lot quicker. Often accidents were very common and if an inmate collapsed in front of the other prisoners in the line, they would often take out the prisoners behind them also, and a domino effect would be created, with them all falling down the stairs. Prisoner after prisoner would fall over, and in the quarry they were also forced to carry boulders all day, from morning until night, up the stairs and to the other side. SS guards would continue to whip and beat them heavily, and drive them quicker up there. One former French resistance fighter who was held at Mauthausen stated, Those who visit the Mauthausen quarry today 
don't see the same thing. For since then, the steps have been redone, a real stairway, cemented and regular. At that time, they were simply cut with a pick into the clay and rock, held in place by rocks, unequal in height and tread, and therefore extremely difficult, not only for climbing, but also for the descent. Stones rolled over our wooden soled sandals, and we were forced to keep moving at a very rapid pace. The work consisted of carrying up a stone of considerable size and weight, along the 186 steps, after which there was a considerable distance to cover. The man who chose a stone found to be too small was out of luck, and all of this went on at a rate of 8 to 10 trips per day. The pace was infernal, without a second's rest. But the large stone steps were also used for executions, and a sadistic game that the SS guards referred to as a parachutist wall. This was an ordeal which was intended to be incredibly brutal, and resulted in the deaths of prisoners. The parachutist wall was when the prisoners at the top of the cliff were marched to the edge. They were held at gunpoint, and were then told to line up on the edge of the cliff. An SS guard with his gun pointed would then ask the prisoner behind the first if he wanted to push the inmate in front of him off, off the cliff, or instead be shot dead. In this sick game, the SS referred to the victims as parachutists, and many would be thrown off the cliff by their fellow inmates, and they would plunge to their deaths, hitting the bottom of the quarry. They were thrown from a huge height, and there was no chance of survival. One former prisoner, Edward Mosberg, said of the quarry in the stairs, If you stopped for a moment, the SS either shot you or pushed you off the cliff to your death. They did use the cliffs as an execution method, but some inmates would throw themselves off, as it was so barbaric how they were being treated. One historian stated, For two days the SS drove the Jews up and down the steps. On the third day, driven by the spare, the remaining Jews joined hands, and leaped over the precipice, to their deaths in the quarry below. There were many more methods of execution used at Mauthausen, including when guards and carpos would throw prisoners into the 380 volt electric barbed wire fence, which surrounded the boundary of the camp and the quarry, and some would be shot on sight. If prisoners could not carry their stones and rocks up the stairs, they were often shot on sight, causing mass panic. More inmates who were suffering and could not work were thrown into icy showers in cold weather, and 3,000 people died of this treatment. Mauthausen was liberated by the Americans on the 5th of May 1945, and they disarmed the guards who remained there, but most of them had fled. There were around 30 who were killed by the prisoners, and the Americans heard of the brutality and horror from the inmates themselves. They told of the brutal slave labour, and of the evils of the SS guards, who would use the stairs of death to play disgusting games, which resulted in the deaths of inmates. The site of Mauthausen today is one which is still intact, and the stairs of death can still be seen. There are many memorials to the stairs around the world, that show prisoners struggling up them. The stairs are the iconic but notorious symbol of Mauthausen, and they inflicted so much suffering. But it's believed that hundreds of people, if not thousands, were thrown off the side of the quarry, especially those who were not well enough to work. The stairs of death certainly lived up to their name. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.